so welcome to this week's video. Tonight we've come out for sunset up to Burghead, which is a place that we've never been to before except for passing through in the van, but never been to actually photograph it. So pretty excited tonight to come out and have a look. Just now we're at the harbour uh, with an absolutely beautiful view across the beach and out to sea. We've got some really moody, dramatic clouds and fingers crossed we might get a pretty decent sunset. So the sun is going to set to my right and at the moment there is a bit of a clear gap. So a few weeks ago we put a video out about expectations versus reality and you sort of want those conditions or hope for those conditions and I think over the last few weeks the weather's not been great. We've had some really changeable weather which is superb for photography uh, but more often than not when we've been out the conditions have sort of quickly changed and turned into rain. <laughs> um, we were out just last night and exactly the same thing happened so no idea what tonight's going to bring in terms of conditions but it's nice to be out at a new area for us um, to explore and to photograph. So it's um, don't know don't know what it's going to do but I think time will tell we're a couple of hours away from sunset yet it's actually low tide at the moment but the waves are coming in against the harbour wall quite nice the light just now is is it's all right uh, but I think we're, we're going to stick it out for sunset and hopefully capture some nice images so I've taken the camera off the tripod and I'm just literally picking out a couple of shots now wildlife photography isn't something that I do very often or I'm very good at at all um, but there's some seagulls just flying in and out and with these dramatic clothes just trying to pick a few of them out so Max bought me a new lens uh, for my birthday coming up a 100 to 400 and it's absolutely superb for picking out little details I've taken loads of images that I wouldn't never have taken and I think that's with having the new lens and getting the camera off the tripod and hand holding so we're just waiting really for sunset at the moment um, hopefully <laughs> the clouds will light now the dramatic at the moment and we've still got that gap on the horizon we've got some lovely rays just just appearing um, I think it's going to be probably a last minute let's see what it does but for now we're just enjoying taking in the views there was a little cruise liner that just went past uh, but it's absolutely stunning the wind is picking up a little bit but it's just been so nice at the moment just to discover a new part of the coast um, we're just out with Kim at the moment as well which is great um, been sort of chatting for the last hour or so just watching and and taking things in um, but it's it's nice I think to for two reasons tonight or three sort of to have a go with the new lens to come to somewhere new and to sort of speak to Kim and, and sort of chat about the area and it's been fantastic that somebody is so knowledgeable about a specific area and can take you around to the best places so that's been absolutely lovely so yeah we'll stick it out and pop a couple of images up that we've taken so far using the long lens and uh, we'll catch up with you in a bit hopefully when the conditions get a little bit better. So it was great to have the opportunity to try out the new lens taking some images of these seagulls against a darker moody sky and although they're not my usual style of images I really did enjoy the process of taking them. We've just recently had the opportunity as well to head up to the coast and photograph the puffins and the 100 to 400 really did give me that extra reach to try and capture these images. We've just headed down to the beach and it's absolutely beautiful with the light just now catching the the woodland just across 
with the dunes and a shot that I've picked out that I wouldn't ordinarily take I suppose is just the way that this still water's lying on the beach with the shapes in the sand so it's low tide the tide's out and it's created all of these patterns and I just quite like how the light's reflecting off the water so I've taken the polarizer off just to emphasize that reflection with the light just catching across the trees the sky is quite blue at the moment we're still probably a good hour an hour and a half away from sunset yet um, I think the challenge for me tonight is going to be that the beach um, is quite flat there's not a lot of um, sort of interest out to sea with mountains or an actual focal point so I think it's probably going to push me out of my comfort zone a little bit with what we can photograph or opening myself up to taking something a bit different so we as I say we've been photographing seagulls the reflection now just on on the sands with that beautiful light we're going to make our way down just to the water's edge and and see what opportunities are down there but it's nice this evening just to try something different and and I do think that by having the camera on the tripod ordinarily does stifle that creativity a little bit so we'll see what presents itself and yeah try some different images so we spent some time looking at how the light was catching the patterns in the sand and the curve of the water just leading up to the harbour it was lovely to spend some time taking in this new area absolutely beautiful back up to where we actually started tonight's video and look at the light just across there it looks absolutely beautiful so we just got a, a slither of light on the horizon where you can just see the mountains silhouetted it's quite orangey and it looks as though it's raining out there as well so you've almost got that texture in that area of light it just looks absolutely beautiful the winds are picking up we've still got moody sky uh, which is just catching a little bit of colour at the moment. The tide is actually, I think because of the winds, smashing against the harbour wall. So hopefully we can maybe try and get a little shot of that before we finish. Um, this evening's just been lovely. Um, it's not really been about photography tonight, to be honest. I think it's been more about building relationships and coming to a new area to photograph. And although at the moment I don't feel like I've sort of captured anything spectacular or anything that um, really stands out to me. It's been a superb evening just exploring the little beach and this area of cliff here against the harbour. So yeah, I'm going to try and get another couple of shots now of this light just before it goes. A couple of the harbour and we'll probably bring the video to a close but it's been really, really special evening. So I couldn't resist one last little shot, uh, just trying to include a little bit of foreground. So just before I'd taken the uh, camera off the tripod and put the long lens on and really tried to zoom in to em emphasise those mountains. But I've put the 24 to 70 back on and just trying to pick out a little bit of foreground with this beautiful colour. Um, hopefully you can hear me all right because the wind is picking up. Uh, but there's just three little sort of... Um, almost like enormous pegs in this rock that would have been used for something in the past um, that I've tried to use as a bit of a focal point in the image in the foreground with then the textures and shapes of the rocks leading out to that lovely view so I'm hoping that they're going to come out all right uh, it's been a, a lovely evening 
there's one last image that I want to get that I've been looking at all night and that's the harbour wall, the curve of the wall with that water, the waves just lapping up against it. So I'm going to try and get that image before we go. But yeah, absolutely lovely. Um, this is an area we'll definitely come back to. The, the colour on the horizon there tonight has just been an absolute bonus to the evening. So yeah, we'll pop these images up for you and uh, we're going to go and head over to the harbour wall. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and some of the images from this evening. The one thing that really stands out for me is that photography brought three people together that previously had never met. I hope in the future to meet up with other photographers and share that experience and connection to the landscape and to the coast. The light on the horizon at sunset was just an absolute bonus and it's an evening that we won't forget. So I think we're going to call it an evening for there, aren't we? Yep. It's been absolutely lovely. Um, like I say, not sure that the images are um, our usual style, I'm going to say. Um, so really tried a few different things. Yep. Um, and we were out just last night as well with the camera and again, just trying something a little bit different. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed our little look around Berghead and this absolutely beautiful view that's behind us absolutely lovely yeah, to see fantastic fantastic nice to come to a different place that we haven't been before absolutely and, and nice to spend a bit of time yeah. with kim that's just been been really nice yeah. hasn't it yeah um so thank you very much kim for showing us around and yeah we'll leave it there and we'll see you next week take care adios, adios. <laughs>